Does your home always look like this? Well, then the Fly Lady cleaning system may just be the system for you. It's about time you start taking control of your home. You are in charge, and we're not gonna allow some arrogant collection of wood, stone, and sheetrock run our lives anymore. What did you just call me? You heard me. So in this video, we're gonna cover Fly Lady's cleaning routine front to back, and I hope it inspires you to start taking your home back today. Because this mess in our home, it's causing us stress, it's taking away from time spent with family, and it just makes us feel defeated. My fellow Americans, let's make cleaning great again! First I want to mention that Fly Lady has a beautiful app that lays out the routine for you called Fly Lady Plus. It's totally free and you can check off boxes as you go through the day. It's wonderful and you should definitely download it to make things easier. But anyway, the Fly Lady splits her routine into three main sections. The daily routines, the daily focus, and zone cleaning. So we will begin with her daily routines. She separates these routines into morning, afternoon, and evening. So in the morning, you're gonna make your bed, get dressed all the way to shoes. This counts doing your makeup if that's something you do. Do a swish and swipe, which is basically just a quick wipe down of the bathroom sinks and toilets. Start a load of laundry, empty the dishwasher, and check your calendar to see what today holds. And that's your daily tasks for the morning. She has an afternoon routine. It's optional, okay, working moms? Don't you hunt me down with your torches. You can take and leave whatever you want to make this routine work for you. But for those who are interested in the afternoon routine, here it is. Drink your water. Apparently coffee doesn't count, but whatever. Ask yourself what's for dinner in case you need to prepare anything ahead of time. Reboot your laundry and 15 minutes of zone cleaning, which we will touch on later in the video. And lastly, for the evening routine, you will shine your sink, which does include washing the dishes. Put things at the launch pad. The launch pad is a place where we set out the things we need for the next day so that we don't forget them when we leave the house. Lay out your clothes for tomorrow. Spend two minutes clearing a hot spot. Hot spots are those spots in your home where clutter and paper like to eat away at your tabletops. We all have them. Check your calendar one last time and go to bed at a decent hour. It may seem like a lot, but you just gotta start small, okay? Don't take on everything at once or you'll end up like this cat. And I suggest that you spend a week just trying to master one routine at a time. I started with the morning routine only and I worked my way up to the others. Habits don't form overnight. They take time, which is why the Fly Lady recommends that you start with her 31 baby steps because it will help you to form these habits slowly and therefore hopefully more effectively. I did make a video all about her 31 baby steps and I will link that in the description for if you'd like to watch it later. But for now, let's move on to the next section of Fly Lady's cleaning system. The daily focus. Every day has something for you to focus on depending on what day of the week it is. And I'm gonna walk you through each day. So starting on Monday, you will focus on what she calls the weekly home blessing. Each Monday you're gonna bless your home. And Lord bless the table, and bless the chairs, and bless the ceiling fan. Okay, not exactly like that. You'll bless your home by spending an hour cleaning the main living areas. This is not a whole house clean. We're just focusing on the kitchen, living room, dining room, maybe a family room or playroom, just those main traffic areas in your home. If you actually clean your whole house in one day, well, then I'm calling the psych ward because you are way too stable and frankly, I'm concerned. So in these main living areas, you'll complete seven tasks, only spending no more than 10 minutes per task using a timer. These seven tasks are dusting, vacuuming, mopping, emptying the garbages, changing your sheets, polishing the mirrors and doors, and purging through magazines or paper clutter. And it's very important to be setting your timer for each task so that you don't go over 10 minutes. You may not get your floors mopped perfectly, but Fly Lady is not about perfection at all. Things may not be done the flawless way that you want them to be done, but they will be done, and your home will be in a better shape than it was previously without sending yourself into hyperventilation. Okay, on to Tuesday. Tuesday is planned and play day. Basically, you'll use this day to pay the bills, make important phone calls. It's time, okay? It's time to call Aunt Pearl back. She's still waiting. 
You can also use this day to meal plan, plan out holidays, sign up for your local hot dog eating contest, and whatever else. And she calls a plan and play day because afterwards she wants you to do something fun for you. Take a bath, binge watch five hours at Gilmore Girls, whatever makes you happy. Wednesday is anti-procrastination day. Ask yourself, what are you procrastinating on? Pick a task, set your timer for about 10 to 15 minutes, and just do it already. I've been really procrastinating on eating this tub of ice cream. Thursday is errand day. This is the day for you to complete any out of the house tasks, like grocery shopping, a trip to the library, visits to the doctors, etc. And Friday is car and purse day. On Fridays, you're gonna spend about 10 minutes just grabbing all of the clutter out of your car and purse. Old receipts, empty bottles, five-year-old pacifiers, gum wrappers. Imagine how nice it would be to be able to reach your hand into your purse and pull out your keys within two seconds. Because right now, it's like a game of guess who, and I'm losing. Now please know that you can change this up to fit your needs. You don't have to have everything according to her schedule. Maybe you don't need a car and purse day and would rather have massage your cat day because our cats have needs too. Fly Lady understands that we're all different people with different schedules. Think of this as more of a guide to help you make your own weekly schedule. And now let's talk about zone cleaning. Zone cleaning is where we slowly work on decluttering and deep cleaning our home in just 15 minute increments a day. She breaks our homes into five zones. You can split your zones up any way you want to based on the layout of your house. But for now, we're just gonna look at the way Fly Lady splits her zones up. Zone one is the entrance, front porch, and dining room. Zone two is just the kitchen. Zone three is the main bathroom and one extra room of your choice. Zone four is the master bedroom, master bathroom, and closet. And zone five is the living room and the family room. You're gonna be hitting all five of these zones every month by just focusing on one zone per week. So the first week of the month, you'll be cleaning the first zone. The second week, you'll clean the second zone third week, third zone, and so on. But not all weeks are equal. Sometimes the first week will only have three days or even the fifth week may only have three days. That's okay, this is what you'll do. This is Freddy. He thinks you look very stunning today. Freddy, watch the way you look at my audience, okay? So here's week one, and during that first week, we're in zone one. For week two, we're in zone two. Week three, we're in zone three. Week four, zone four, and lastly, week five, but there's only three days this week. Well, that's not a big deal. You're still gonna be in zone five, but only for these three days. And then the next month is a new month, and you start over in zone one. It works the same way if the beginning of the month has a shorter week. Well, then you're only gonna focus on zone one for these three days. That's why Fly Lady schedules the more time-consuming rooms in zone two, three, and four where we may have more cleanup to do than we would have in zone one and five. So make sure to schedule your zones accordingly and have zone one and five be rooms that don't require as much of a clean as maybe the kitchen would. So every month you are hitting all five zones, but just not for equal lengths of time. Another thing that's important with zone cleaning is making sure that you're decluttering first. Fly Lady says that you can't clean clutter, and this is so true. How are you gonna wipe down a table that's covered in papers? You're not. You gotta clear the table first. So if your home is full of clutter, then we're just gonna put that zone cleaning on hold and call it zone decluttering for now. When you're ready to work in your zones, then set that 15 minute timer and spend it decluttering. Can you imagine how much clutter you could rifle through if you spent 15 minutes a day clearing it? I mean, 15 minutes a day doesn't seem like much, but that's almost two hours a week. And eventually, when you clear the clutter to the point where you can see your floors and furniture again, then you can move on to zone cleaning. Also, if you download her free app, you'll have access to her zone cleaning checklist, which is extremely easy to use. Seriously, just get the app already. Don't go on the website because you may just pull out all your hair, but the app is gold and your phone needs it. So this sums up the Fly Lady cleaning system, but do you wanna see it in action? Then click here to see what a week of doing this system looks like, and then you can decide for yourself if this is the routine for you. I'll see you there.